And now, once upon a party. This is Joshua. Joshua is a little boy. Hello, we're Joshua's mommy and daddy. We'd like to tell you about Joshua and his new potty. Just like all little boys, Joshua has a body. And this body has many nice and useful parts. A head for thinking, eyes for seeing, ears for hearing, a mouth to talk and eat with, hands for playing, a penis for making wee-wee, legs for walking and running, and a bottom for sitting. And a little hole for making poo-poo. Ever since Joshua was born, he's been making wee-wee and poo-poo into his diaper. And we, his mommy and daddy, have been changing him. He was doing it when he was two days old. He was doing it when he was two months old. And here, you can still see him doing it. And me, his mommy, still changing him. I take away his diaper with Wee Wee and Poo Poo, and I leave him with a nice, clean diaper. Until one day, Joshua's grandmother bought him a big present. Joshua opened the box and found something new and exciting inside. Was it a hat? No, it wasn't a hat. Was it a milk bowl for the cat? No, it wasn't a milk bowl for the cat. Was it a flower pot? No, it wasn't a flower pot. Was it a, a bird bath? Nope, it wasn't a bird bath. It was a potty. For sitting on and making wee-wee and poo-poo into instead of a diaper. How wonderful! Joshua was very happy. He sat on his new potty and sat and sat and sat and sat and nothing came out neither wee-wee nor poo-poo. Later on, he made wee-wee and poo-poo, but not exactly into the potty. Afterwards, he kept making wee-wee and poo-poo into his diaper, and I kept changing him. There you go. Until one day, when Joshua had a feeling that poo-poo was ready to come out, he ran to his potty and sat down on it. And when he got up and looked into his potty, he saw all of his wee wee and poo poo right inside it. Joshua was very happy and proud and came to show us his full potty. And we were also very happy and proud of Joshua. And then we carried the potty to the bathroom and emptied it into the toilet. Bye-bye, wee-wee. Bye-bye, poo-poo. Now, whenever Joshua has the feeling that Poo-Poo is ready to come out, he tells us that he has to go, and he runs to his potty and sits down on it. Joshua remembers that it takes time for Poo-Poo to come out, just like it takes time to learn to use a potty. Joshua is finding out that using the potty can be fun, just like the other things he can do all by himself. Walking, talking, Sitting, jumping, clapping, singing, dancing, and all the wonderful things he can do with his body. <laughs> and 
now that Joshua has learned to use his potty, we, his mom and dad, are so proud and glad. And now he likes his potty even more and uses it every time. Hello. <laughs> when I was a baby, I had a diaper round my little tummy. That was that. Everything was easy when I had a diaper. Didn't have to do much. That was enough. We we went there, poop we went there. Mommy changed the diaper when duty went. Now that I'm bigger, no more diapers. I got a potty, gonna figure it out. Yes, I'm going to my potty. Sit on it, sit, think, and sing on it. How wonderful! I'm so proud and glad. We we go there, poop who goes there, and Daddy wipes behind me, and that is that. Everything is easy now that I am bigger. I just got a party. If my friends could see me now, come on. Yes, I'm going to my party.
Welcome to the Parent's Guide. I'm Dr. Leo Crone, the medical consultant to this video, and I hope you and your child have enjoyed viewing it together. Now this next section is for you, the parent. I know from my work with small children and their parents, as well as from my own experience as a parent, that things don't always go so smoothly. Although most children are born with the natural skills and equipment they'll need to eventually learn how to use the potty, the one thing they're not born with, unfortunately for us, is a natural desire to use the potty in the way that we'd like them to. In fact, small children will just as well go whenever or wherever they would like. So there's a lot to learn, and it's your job as the parents to bring your child around to your way of seeing things. In this, you have on your side his strong desire to please you, strong wishes to be more grown up, and a love of imitation. These are powerful motivators. The first question that most parents would ask is at what age should we start teaching our child to use the potty? Most experts in child development would agree that this is not before the second birthday at the earliest and later in many children. Undoubtedly you'll hear lots of stories of children being trained much earlier. But don't be pressured. This may be before your child is ready to master the physical, emotional, and mental skills necessary for an easy, successful outcome. Keep in mind that each child and parent is special and unique in the time and way that is right for them. Even siblings are different from each other. Girls tend to be earlier than boys, and very active boys later than others. All of this is normal. It's better to be wrong and late than to be too early and expect something of your child that's just not possible. Some children are not ready until after their third birthday. This is not a reflection on their intelligence or character, nor on yours. Although accidents and setbacks will undoubtedly occur throughout all of childhood, I can assure you that your child will not be in diapers at the time of college graduation or even at the beginning of elementary school. Now even before it's time to start using the potty, there's a lot that you and your child can learn in preparation. Much earlier, you can begin teaching your child the names of the parts of his body and how they're used, just as you saw in the video. Also, teach your child your name for Poo Poo and Wee Wee. You should remember that it's not until about the age of one and a half that your child will actually be able to make those connections between the inner bodily feelings before going to the bathroom and the end result. If you want to help your child make those connections, you'll have to learn them first. Is there a pattern to when your child is about to move their bowel and bladder? Learn it. Are there signs in your child's body, face, and behavior that will tell you that a bowel movement is coming? If you can learn these connections, then you'll be able to teach your child the connection between his inner feelings and the end result.
We want to teach our children, of course, without pestering them, to let us know when they have to use the potty. I think you'll see that at first, your child won't be able to tell you until after it's too late. Then while they're actually going, and finally, well beforehand, so you can get them to the potty on time. Children learn through imitation. I think it's a good idea for you to introduce your young child to the toilet and how it's used. At the same time, your child should get to know his potty, experiment with it, and get comfortable with it. Children's books and this video will help your child learn what's expected of him and that all children can learn to do these things. Once you and your child are prepared and ready, go ahead, unless there's something else going on that makes it a bad time. Examples of this are when your child or a member of the family is ill, or when you're moving around or traveling, or when a new sibling has arrived. As you may well know, children of this age are quite fond of saying no to their parents. This is a normal, healthy part of their development. It does go in phases, so try to pick a time when your child is more agreeable. If when you actually start to use the potty, your child does not want to get on, don't force him. If your child wants to sit on the potty for a while and get off, that's fine, let him. It's important for parents to recognize their child's own pace and adjust to it. There's lots of evidence to suggest that bullying, threatening, or forcing children does not in fact get them trained any earlier. It can result in emotional problems and difficulties in your relationship. It's important that your child feel that learning to use the potty is a proud accomplishment and not something that is forced upon him. If you think the time is right, but after about a week's encouragement, your child still shows no interest, he may just not be ready yet. Why don't you take a break for about a month and try again then? After a couple of unsuccessful attempts, with no interest on your child's part, I think it's time for you to consult with your pediatrician. The important landmark that you want to strive for is that wonderful moment of success when things end up just where they're supposed to be. Be sure to show your child how pleased and proud you are. Remind your child that by learning how to use the potty regularly, he'll be able to leave those wet and sticky diapers behind. The Work Upon a Potty video is based upon the best-selling potty training book of the same name by Alona Frankel. It is also available as a potty package that includes the book and a doll with its very own potty. All these items are available at bookstores and toy stores everywhere.